Hello again and welcome to my update. It's Saturday the 14th of March 2020 and I've just done the UK graph for the first time because really there's enough cases now to make a graph and to look for a trend. Um, this is the UK okay going up to 600 cases over about the last 40 days and here are the new cases for the UK which are also climbing and just to compare here's Singapore which has climbed recently but was on the level for a long time now Singapore's kind of in a way maybe the gold standard for coping with this disease but if you look at the UK the UK had done very very well okay very similarly to Singapore, in fact Singapore was level at about 90 cases for a long time the UK was level at between 9 and 13 cases for a very long time but then we took off, now maybe Singapore is starting to take off also but that's not the thing that I've really noticed um, I did also have this graph that compares, and this is a log graph comparing Italy France, Germany, Spain in green, UK in blue blobs. But when I looked at this chart, I thought this is really odd because, okay, we really took off just here, which is about the 27th of February. Something happened then. Okay, well, this is what happened. I remember there being nine cases in the UK for a long time and then it went to 13 and then there was a quibble about whether it should go back to 9 or stay at 13 because we imported four cases from the Diamond Princess and that was on day 36, it was around 24th or 25th of February okay and ever since then the chart has gone exponential that is very odd because that event is when we actually imported the cases now they would have gone into quarantine I don't know how long they were in quarantine for because there were four cases but there were the other people on the ship who had not tested positive okay that though is very very interesting and it just happens to coincide with when we brought these people in from the Diamond Princess that suddenly the disease takes off that is that's so odd so I did a little investigating and I'm afraid I've got too much here but passengers leave Diamond Princess 20th of February okay and they were collected by coach with people with masks and stuff like that okay uh, let's go to some other things I mean I just did some searches here to see where they went four tested positive in UK 23rd of February they arrived in UK as it happened that was on the Guardian well let's have a look at the Evening Standard oh maybe not let's have a look at expert reaction four Diamond Princess passengers quarantined in Britain have tested positive February the 23rd BBC Repatriation flight for Britons on Diamond Princess delayed. Well, that was February the 21st. Guardian. Japanese government faces growing questions. Most of the infected people from the Diamond Princess cruise ship... Uh, most of the infected people... Let me have a look. 773 cases in the world. Most of them are from the Diamond Princess because they're about 400 odd then, I think that uh, infected but whatever it was um, and there were three other passenger ships that uh, that were involved as well but it was mostly the Diamond Princess of course 23rd of February okay if you go up on the Guardian Irish singer is among those to be evacuated 23rd of February four of the 32 British and Irish Diamond Princess cruise passengers taken to Arrow Park are tested positive 23rd of February it passed on in the Diamond Princess. Four further patients in England tested positive, bringing the total number of UK cases to 13. That's where it goes from 9 to 13, and two days later it takes off in the UK.
But you see, also, if you go back to the Germany, France, Spain one, and Italy one, this was the day it took off in the UK and started to go up. Okay? Actually here, from 9 to 13. It took off in Spain. It took off in France in red. And maybe also in Germany. Okay? So I don't know, I can't figure out how many positive or negative case or negative cases there were on the diamond princess from these different countries and it was already taking off in italy anyway you were well over 100 maybe 300 cases but you see these are the countries only had like between three and well two or three and maybe less fewer than 20 cases this is on a log graph this is 10 this is 100 and all of a sudden the diamond princess disembarks here or that the passengers arrive here for quarantine and everybody takes off Britain, France, Germany, Spain I wonder if we caught this disease in Europe from the Diamond Princess okay we had a few cases but this is when it took off it's very very odd it's very very odd indeed isn't it okay let's have a look at a few more articles um, passengers from Diamond Princess arrive in Berlin 22nd of February, there you go 22nd of February that is there ok, a little bit earlier than the UK maybe, I don't know um, day before maybe, I don't know, two days before um, let's have a look at well, failures on the Diamond Princess um, pressure grows to re rescue Britons, that was 15th of February, that's not really relevant but you can see what we're, we're looking at here um, 26 of February fourth passenger dies Californian who died likely got it on Diamond Princess 4th of March likely got it why likely okay why likely very odd passengers arrive in the USA 19th of February I wonder when the epidemic took off in the USA have to investigate that British couple question they're positive 16th of February okay 18th of February sorry question positive diagnosis or something British man who was on Diamond Princess ship he's a sixth manager uh, passenger to die 28th of February five days ago that's 9th of March Trump proposes tell that's irrelevant tax cut okay coronavirus first Diamond Princess Passengers released from quarantine here, presumably, 8th of March in the Telegraph. British couple, couple question their positive tests. I oh, never mind about that. This is what is really interesting. If you look at the confirmed cases on the Diamond Princess, okay, 3rd of February, 5th of February, okay, it was in, was it in Wuhan, China? It was in Yokohama. It was in Wuhan. Well, Yokohama embarked, disembarked at Hong Kong, 25th of January, and I think that's when the trouble started. Okay, let's say 3rd of February, birthed in Yokohama, and here you have cases, 31 cases, okay? Confirmed, 31 tests, 10 confirmed, and you end up with 696, okay, because some were repatriated and taken off the list, but you actually had 705. But look, 285 cases... 73 asymptomatic 15th of February let's go to 20th of February 3,000 suspected but 634 tested positive so nearly everybody tested by that time 328 asymptomatic cases and at the end you had 410 asymptomatic cases I've got a feeling that Europe has caught this disease from asymptomatic cases from the Diamond Princess because even though the positive ones went into quarantine what about some that weren't tested did they go into quarantine did everybody go into quarantine or or did somebody on the bus catch it from somebody else and then take it home what happened what happened something's happened to do with the diamond princess maybe not maybe not but they arrive in the Britain and the cases go up from 9 to 13 and presumably the non-cases arrived at the same time and the Britain 
figure goes skyrocketing. So before that we were below Singapore, now we're way above and we're on our way to catching up with Italy and Spain and France and Germany. And I was trying to find out where the passengers came from or, or where which countries they came from. Um, 138 from India, 35 Filipinos, 32 Canadians, some Australians, Americans, Indonesians, Malaysians and two Britons. But that doesn't add up to anywhere near the, 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 um, the 2,700 passengers. That's only a few hundred, okay, of the passengers. So there were lots and lots of the passengers. Uh, this was the infections. That still doesn't add up to anywhere near the, the 700 infections. That's only, what, two or three, 350, that lot. So there were obviously lots of people from other countries as well who were infected and lots of passengers who were in asymptomatic because there were 3,711 of them. But once, when you think about it, 23rd, 24th, 25th of February, which is day 36 on some of my graphs from WHO report 36, 23rd of February, where are we about here? It takes off in all of these countries and on a log graph you can see definitely uh, day 36 as I said 25th of February it takes off in four European countries straight away basically I've got a feeling there's a connection between that and the arrival of passengers from the Diamond Princess because we've been extremely successful like Singapore in limiting the outbreak until then and even though people who were cases may have been in quarantine, there's no telling whether the uh, whether the countermeasures were perfect, okay, whether they infected other people or whether there were other cases who were not spotted or not tested who came back to those countries in Europe from the Diamond Princess or went to France or UK and went to other countries and infected them there and spread it around those four European countries. That's the end of my broadcast for today. It's just very interesting and somewhat sinister and I, I wonder what you think about it. Please comment below if you have any evidence or if you have any ideas on this matter because it does really bear serious investigation. Uh, thank you very much. So four cruise ships, Diamond Princess, World Dream, MS Westerdam and the Grand Princess. OK, let's just give you the names of those four ships. But I'm dealing here with the Diamond Princess and its possible connection to the outbreak in UK cases in this pandemic. Thank you very much and goodbye for now.